In this video, I would like to show you how hackers could hack your wireless access point using OSINT. Now, please keep in mind that this video is only for educational purposes. And the reason why I'm showing you this video is just to make you aware of such attacks. And that's why you should not use your information as your password. Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Saad from CyberSudo. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media for more content. Now, this is the second time I upload this video because it's got deleted the first time. And I believe that you have to watch it because it's very, very important. You have to be aware of such attacks. And this video is only made for educational purposes. I'm not encouraging anybody to do so. And we are actually attacking my access point. So it's my device and I'm allowed to do whatever I want with my device. And this is only to show you why you should not use your information as your password so if youtube deleted this video it got deleted i can't do anything about it but i think it's very important you have to see it and that's why i want to re-upload this video now i have an OSINT masterclass on how can you find someone's personal email address and personal phone number and also using leaked databases to escalate and leverage your OSINT investigation if you're interested in taking this course, you can subscribe to the newsletter. You'll get 25% discount plus the CyberSuit Awesome Toolkit plus two mini ethical hacking courses on how you can hack your own wireless access point and how can you unlock vulnerable cars using radio frequency attack. So let's get started. Now, to explain this attack, the method that hackers use is by gathering your online information for example your first name your last name your date of birth your pet name your girlfriend name all the information that they could find online are going to be used to generate a huge word list that has minimum eight characters and then they will use this word list against your wireless access point to gain access so if you use your information as your password and they have this huge word list then they will be able to to access to your wireless access point. Now we will be relying on a tool called Ellipse Crack and it's a very similar tool that's been used in a Mr. Robot episode in which he asked a person for his first last name and the pit name and then the tool will generate a huge word list of this person's information. With that being said, let's get started. So here's the tool that we are going to use. I highly recommend you read the modes and the levels that they have this is very very important to generate a very powerful and effective word list i'll let you do this on your own so the first thing we have to do is to capture the handshake file of the wireless access point and i'm not going to do this because the video is going to be very very long and there are tons of videos on youtube on how you can do this so this should be easy for you once you capture the handshake the next step is to install the tool so to install this tool all you have to do is just to open the terminal and then you want to copy this url and then say get clone and put the url hit enter i already have it on my desktop so i'm gonna move or change my directory to the tool see the ellipse crack and to install all the dependencies all we have to do is just see pip3 install minus r requirements and then hit enter and now all the requirements are going to be installed in my case i've already installed all of them after you install the tools and all its dependencies you want to go to its directory and then you want to say python 3 and then the name of the tool it's ellipse crack and then minus l for level and i'm going to use the last level which is level 5 it was nuclear i think and then you want to specify the minimum characters in my case i'm going to say 8 because wpa uses at least 8 characters this is why i'm going to use 8 characters and then i'm going to say max you can put like 10 15 20 but i would like to use 15 and then i'm going to say elite and this will use the elite format when generating passwords for example instead of sad s a a d it's going to say s 44 d for example and then i'm going to save verbose to see the results in real time and then i'm going to say years 1990 for, for example when or if my year of birth was 1990 then i'm going to add it here and then it will try to add 1990 at the beginning of the password and at the end of the password and then the next password is going to be 1991 and then 1992, etc. So I'm gonna hit enter, or before I hit enter, I'm just going to repeat the command Python 3 to run the ellipse crack tool. 
minus L for level. I'm going to use the lat lattice level. And then the minimum characters is going to be 8. Maximum character is going to be 15. Lead to generate lead characters. Verbose to see the result in real time. Years to add the years at the beginning and at the end of the passwords. So I'm going to hit enter. And now it's going to ask me some questions. So the first thing is going to ask for is any names. So I'm going to target myself. That's why I'm going to say sad, comma, Siraj, comma, sad, Siraj, for example, comma, cyber, sudo, just for example. And trust me, the password I'm using right now is a 15 character password. This is why I set the maximum characters to 15. So I'm going to hit enter. So in this case, I'm just going to hit enter. I'm not going to add anything. And then I'm going to add the date of birth. And assuming that mine was 1st of January and then 1990. Now I'm going to hit enter. And now it's going to generate a huge word list with the password that I have. And then we will use aircrack ng to crack the password. And now it has generated two word lists. The first word list is called password.txt. And the second word list is called leeted minus passwords.txt. And they are in ellipse crack directory. So they are in here. So this is the first one. And this is the second one. Now the next step is obviously to use a crack ng to find the password using the word list that we have just generated. So I'm going to say aircrack ng and then I'm going to specify the location of my handshake file which is on my desktop. It's this one and then I'm going to say minus w to specify the word list which is in home Kali desktop ellipse crack and it's called password and if this didn't work you can obviously try the deleted password word list. So I'm going to hit enter and as you can see this is the password of the wireless access point this is the actual password of the wireless access point so this is why it's not recommended to use your information in your passwords because people could use tools like this to find out new password now if you have learned something new in this video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel i really appreciate this and i'm more than happy to create more exclusive content for you guys so stay tuned